The opinions expressed in the following commentary are not necessarily those of the WJDF staff or its sponsors. I was on my way to my favorite adult beverage takeout establishment when I noticed something that seemed out of place. There was a woman standing there in the freezing cold, ringing that old Salvation Army bell hoping for donations. What's up with that? The Salvation Army soliciting donations in front of a liquor store? So, being the curious person I am, I inquired, why is the Salvation Army in front of a liquor store? Like, what does that say about a community when the Salvation Army is staking out a place they deem to have the most traffic like a liquor store? The woman replied, it's one of the few places in town where we're allowed to set up because we're always told if we do it for you, we have to do it for everybody. I thought I was having a second grade flashback. No, they don't. Where's good old fashioned discrimination when you need it? Ever since I was a kid, I've seen a Salvation Army volunteer standing out in the rain, cold, snow, or all of the above around Christmas time ringing that damn bell. I don't know how much I've donated over the years, but I've always taken it for granted it was going to a good cause. What's wrong with some of these stores that won't let the Salvation Army ring a bell in front of their company? When someone loses their job, I don't remember supermarket chains unconditionally coming to the rescue and giving a family food. The Salvation Army is always there to offer assistance, no questions asked. When Hurricanes Katrina and Rita decimated whole regions, I don't recall seeing computer or jewelry store personnel offering a hot meal. The Salvation Army was there to offer assistance, no questions asked. If your house burns down, do you go to your local convenience store for shelter? The Salvation Army is always there to offer assistance, no questions asked. The Salvation Army feeds the homeless and one day, that could be you. Now I have nothing against the Boy and Girl Scouts or other charitable organizations that solicit donations in front of places of business, but should the owner of one of these businesses have his or her house burned down, who are they going to call? Their corporate office or the Salvation Army? And who will be there within the hour of need? Come on guys, cut the Salvation Army some slack. The Salvation Army having to stand in front of a liquor store. Well I guess that says something good about liquor stores. This is Bob Parks, Black and Right. You can read my columns online as well as hear these radio rants. I'll be back here next week at this same time on 97.3 FM, WJDF.